And welcome back everyone, this is AC taking you through a world of Final Fantasy. And we've reached the Besaid region, so let's check it out. in the deep to find. Why don't we start by asking around? The sunken temple? Oh yeah, everyone around here has heard about it. But since no one's ever been there, who can say if it actually exists? Say happy domu kaine! Did it work? I hear shouting those words turns you into an expert diver. Interesting. What is that again? Say happy do moo time. Aloha. Sightseeing, are we? Well, welcome to the Port of Bassay. It's not the biggest town in the world, but it is nice and laid back. You two are gonna love it here. Just kick back and relax. We will do that, sir. Right after I found everything. People say that someone really, really scary lives right here in town. But I've never met anyone like that. So we can't check down there on the port, on the harbour. This letter just isn't enough. If only I had... Wait, you wouldn't happen to be Mirage Keepers, would you? I'm looking for some fish scales. You wouldn't happen to have any you can spare, would you? I'm not sure. <sighs> Thanks a bunch. Now I'm finally confident enough to give her my letter. Hmm? What do I need them for? Well, I'm going to use them to decorate my proposal letter. It's kind of a family tradition. We believe that when you ask someone to marry you, giving them fish scales will ensure they say yes. Don't laugh. I get it. I know that fish scales aren't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when people think about romance. But if you ever really looked at them, they're one of the most beautiful things out there. Anyway, you really helped me out. Here, this is for you. Okay. Hey, I wouldn't go that way if I were you. Why not? Well, uh, that's an excellent question. But I'm afraid I've already said too much. Are any loot here? There's a couple of pieces here. This is probably the sunken temple, is it? Temple, huh? Boy, wouldn't it be something if it were real? I don't know who'd actually want to live there, though. What's that? You'd like to know more about the sunken temple? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid there just isn't much I can tell you. I've met all sorts of visitors here during my lifetime, but you're the first to ever ask me about the sunken temple right off the bat. Well, it sounds like everyone's heard about the temple we're after. Thing is, none of these people have actually been there. What'd you expect? It's the temple in the deep. You think people would call it that if it was swimmable? From the look of it... The train probably doesn't stop there either. Huh? 
Pan... to Logist. Always here to assist? Wow! A person that studies the pants? They think of the everything! Yeah, pants must be serious business. It's Pantologist, dummy. The prefix is pan. Cookware, huh? Neat! Not those pans. As in all. Like, they do a little of everything. Oh! Well, if they do a little of everything, then... Maybe they can do a little of helping us get down to that sunken temple. Let's hit the pants! W wait Lon! That looks like the place. Now the test will surely end in success. <laughs> oh. Was I a quart of ingredients short? Service, please! <laughs> Lon, ever heard of manners? Who goes there? Oh my, I rarely cross paths with a giant bear. So tell me. Are you the Pan Mighty person from the ad? Yes. That's the gist. How can I assist? The Sunken Temple? Yes. I don't know. Maybe you could give us a magic spell. You know, something that lets us breathe underwater. Maybe some magic pants? Breathe underwater? Whether it's gills or spells you want, a solution can be met, but... The sea is its own kind of hell. You're almost certain to regret. The currents will leave you blind. And it's so big you'll be bored out of your mind. Th that's discouraging. Well, hang on. We can handle a little certain regret. Uh, yeah. If you know a solution, then we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out. So come on, please. Hmm. Well, if you're quite certain that that is your desire, perhaps you're just what I require. Excuse me? Excellent! We'll start with the dunce. You see, you can't do two total losers at once. out of water is soon to be dead. Are you some kind of murderer? Oh my. After I do you a favor, this is how you choose to repay me. My dear, don't make me angry. Her magic power is the incredible. Rain, maybe you should consider the apologizing? What? But I... She... Uh, please forgive me? No? Okay! What have we got? No special resistances, apart from... ailments. Try Abyss. That's good if she uses Thunder on me the whole time. And we're not doing much damage here. This might be a scripted death again. Be the third one in the game. Yeah, I think we're just dying here.
Aces. Oh, you've decided to awake. Well, off you go with these two flakes. You got it! Check it out! We're in the ocean and we're actually breathing! I hope you like it, because we can't breathe anywhere else. Don't you worry. I've been to the sunken temple a bunch of times. But, just a minute. Does this mean we can't return to Nightwood Hills? Oh, you can still go the back there. Hey! I didn't know you could breathe underwater, too. Don't go to confusing me with your average mortal. I'm special. Okay, but then why didn't you just go to the temple for us? What? Are you the crazy? Every the inch between us and that key is crawling with the mirage of barrages. If you sit me in there alone, coming? I'd get annihilated. Sorry. So... Did you mean it when you said that we could go back to Ninewood Hills? Well, that place isn't just immune to the time. It can dispel the magic and other mystical manipulations. So, that means you can go back to Ninewood Hills without the choking to death. Thank goodness. Although, I guess that means we won't be able to travel anywhere else, huh? Meh. Let's just finish our dunk to the Sunken Temple and... Wait. If we find the key, will we change back? Oh, don't worry. Dr. Shantoto gave me the antidote to the curse. <sighs> what a relief. I thought we'd end up stuck like this. Wait, did you say curse? Dude! Cha, I mean, curses are the doc's specialty. Uh, first, we've heard of that. Well, as long as she's planning on fixing us up... Sorta. You see, the doc said... Tell those twin losers the antidote costs, so bring me a Quacho Ruby, or they can get lost. So good luck. I'm not crossing her. She... said all that? Twin losers? What?! Where does she get off calling me a loser? Lon is the loser here! You're mad about the name calling? I'm not sure we're going the right way. Is a quacho ruby. Oh, good point. What is a quacho? A quacho? Oh, there's some right over there. Their queen cries red tears, which are called quacho rubies. Now I see. But those sound like they must be just about impossible to get. True enough. They say she only sheds one tear every decade. The rubies go for at least a hundred million gil. A hundred mil? I swear, that is the last time I ever consult a pantologist. Hey, uh, Titus, how come you can breathe underwater? Well, if you've tossed enough blitz balls around... Eh? What? Hmm... Eh, I'll tell you about it some other time. What's this? No idea, guys. Probably get a cutscene after a, a certain amount of time. Oh, here we go. There it is! 
is. Okay, I'll be waiting back at the surface. Good luck finding that Quacho Ruby. Yep, got it covered. Hey, just don't forget why we originally came here. You know, if we found enough of them, we could all be filthy stinking the rich. Oh, I like your style, Tama. Hear that? We're gonna find a Quacho zillion rubies. I'll say it again. Don't forget why we're here. Let's just find the key, get the ruby we need, and trade for the antidote. Rubies, rubies, baby, I wanna be a Quacho zillionaire. I wonder what kind of setup we have here. We can absorb water, that's interesting, even with Ramu. So let's go for that. So we we'll go small with um, rain. Oh no, that's the wrong, the wrong thing. I think, wasn't it? No, that should be okay. And then have the toad. Let's try that. Yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. And there's a new mirage already. Night scroll. So I need to sleep. Easy enough. Victory. A shark wall in jungle camo. Watch out for those sneak attacks. Wait, hold on a second. How does jungle camouflage even work outside the jungle? Talk about a fish out of water.
Let's take this with us then. Hey, we can walk. Does that mean we're not underwater anymore? Then that means the curse has been... Oh. Okay, wishful thinking. Right. But like, shouldn't we be floating? This temple must have some kind of special the power. Don't ask me the how it works, but I sense some kind of force that keeps people and mirages from the drifting too far away. Hey, you're right. Something's keeping us way down. But on the bright side, it's just like being on solid the ground. That's especially the helpful for you two, right? Also, this is just the wild guess, but... Whoa! No way! In some areas, the walls have their own the gravity, which lets us do cool the stuff like this. Uh -huh. So just the green one then, maybe. This yeah. Is fun. I have to admit, it is. I'm a ninja. What? I'm pretty sure ninjas are supposed to be quiet. Remember why we're here. To the yeah, that's pretty weird. No, it was something about a key. I guess we're doing. We did it. It was something about a key. No, it would. No, it was something about a key. How many times can she repeat that? No, it was something about a key. Pretty weird to control. Right. Yeah. And another new enemy. Need water attacks. I'm not sure if we have water attack. Don't have to use an item. This must be a Leviathan, surely. Good job. A sea dragon that excels at water attacks and commands a powerful tsunami ability. It even knows how to swim on land. 
Try doing that in your backyard. Yeah, let's take this with us. And swap out Gilgamesh. So guys I think we'll leave it there for this video uh, next video hopefully we can finish the sunken temple but thanks for watching if you're enjoying please hit the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow but until next time take care